So welcome back to the channel and today's episode is going to be a overview and take a look at some of the concepts involved in node-based texturing. So let's dive into it now. Okay, so here we go in Mari. This is where I left off from the live stream series. So if you haven't seen that, there's a uh, link up in the corner right now. And yeah, we have here different materials. So we have like uh, metal, we have painted metal, we have rubber, some kind of uh, alloy metal, and we have dirt, dust, scratches, breakup. Yeah, it's, it's a grubby asset. Uh, I, I painted it deliberately just to give the demonstration a go here. So yeah, let's take a look in the node graph here and see what we have here first off. So if you haven't seen the previous episode, I was talking about ISOs and this is actually what I, when I start the project, I start to build ISOs. So this is kind of a simple project, but um, still you can take a look here. Let's see. So. I have uh, masks here for the glass and this is for the material like the the green, the paint, uh, the metal there and um, that's rubber, isolating rubber, that's another type of material, the red paint there, this is the alloy I was talking about and uh, yeah that's another type of material. and. As in my previous episode, I was talking about how to define ISOs and I have a broadcasts node here, the radio node. So if you haven't seen that, you can take a recap in my previous lesson. And yeah, so over here, it's kind of grubby here. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have uh, a few bake passes that I use to uh, hook up my uh, material masks and uh, textural effects. We have a, a uh, curvature high pass bake here. So yeah, let's take a look in an overview. So I define materials and mask here. Here you have another set of materials and mask and this section is actually where I put everything together as you see, I have some ISOs and uh, defined materials. So I want to make a short introduction of about how I go about to make like a material in Mori. Okay, so let's take a look at how we can define materials and how I treat materials. So well, when I talk about materials, I mean a number of values that I then connect into a some kind of mixing scenario like I have here. We, let's say that we want to combine two materials and um, we have a number of texture channels we want to combine. So um, let's start off to make a color. So if I hit tab and type col, I get a node here. It's going to be the color. Let's say that the base here, I want to create the metal. So it's going to be kind of black. Now let's we can also take a float value so this is gonna be the roughness so um, let's say that I want to have a, a shiny material and uh, so this is extension pack node the float node here so let's say I want to have a 0.1 value here and let's say uh, we want a Fresnel or something another float value Float, let's make this 0.05 or something. And um, I group this by having a backdrop and say that this is the base metal. So let's say we say met metal. So this is, this is metal. And um, I make another type of material. So what I can do is I can uh, take these and uh, edit, duplicate, and just drag them down. Oops, these, drag them down, make another backdrop and say, this is painted metal, painted metal. Let's name this backdrop, uh, let's 
make it some other color here so it stands out so in my case now I want to have something uh, like a, let's let's mimic what I have there like like let's make it some kind of green color and this was so it's good to, to name stuff here so let's hit the end button and name it and call this spec or name it IOR for example so yeah if I would have named it it would be easier but and IOR so I might have a number of nodes after this but in this demonstration I just create a few radials so what, what I do is I can define material somewhere I create radio nodes and I combine them somewhere else so either I can do as previous to to make radio transmitter in my case now I think I will just create radio nodes so actually let's create a few radio nodes here just copy and paste here a few times so let's take color or and the radio node is also extension pack otherwise you could do this by uh, if you hit uh, the you can have dot nodes this is just glorified dot nodes so that you can hide the inputs on the radio nodes essentially okay so now I have uh, hooked up my let's say I want to blend this somewhere else so let's scoot this over so this is the base the metal there this is what I want to merge on top so I can do this and uh, let's take all of these nodes and say misc toggle radio nodes and you see the connection they disappear there so, okay so now I want to merge this so we hook up a merge node in all of those we take this over over and over so this is very basic so here we have it now I'm merging the green over the metal the spec R values and the IOR values so now we need a, a mask for this so this is if I look at over here where I merge everything together everything is driven by masks here so they're connected so let's do the same here so in my case I already have defined a mask so I can just create a new radio node radio node and hit the C button I connect to radio so we want ISO body that is my mask for the body so yeah so we can take this to the mask mask Oh, and there we have it. This would now, this is a very simple prototype for uh, blending different values. So when I change something, I don't change it here. So let's now make a backdrop. So blend. If I look here, you see I have defined the mask here and it's blending the, the green paint above the metal in my case here it's the same value so let's go in and and uh, tweak the setup so we have to define this so let's say the the spec R here for the base metal is gonna be much shinier there we go let's say the IOR we want more Fresnel here the IOR let's say that the base metal we want more IOR. So here's a, a simple demonstration of how to set up a material. This workflow is expected to change uh, now when Foundry is looking into material texturing, but this is how I deal with kind of procedural material based workflows when I set this project up. So looking at this, we can dissect this now. So here we have uh, radio nodes it's kind of uh, a lot of real estate so I did this to anticipate if I wanted to add stuff into this like um, in this stage as well 
and I haven't really done that because everything is defined here. So in my case here, looking at this, this is where I define the, the base material for the metal. And yeah, you see, it's kind of simplistic because it's, it's kind of just one value. The painted metal, here we have some some additional concepts going on here but it, it's still very simple in the in the base here so I have a I have color face color and edge color and this is in random man I use a shaded called pixel surface and it has uh, edge and face color for the artistic mode and th this is essentially setting the IR value but you, you set it on a between 0 and 1 on the edge and that's the Fresnel and the face that's the facing forward you have a spec roughness and uh, yeah kind of a uh, bump here so yeah this is one material and it's all uh, shared with radio nodes up into here I have nodes here for the mask so let's let's take a look at the mask that's actually feeding into the region for uh, the the painted here let's give it some real estate here we see so how i did that i took i took my uh, the same uh, group there the same material and uh, i also have here the actual breakup mask and the breakup mask is defined over here it's my mask here called metal mask and we can see it here so I blend it with my material mask from the ISO so let's go up here again and take a look and I add it together here that's the the basic of this asset, it, it's not as actually as involved as it looks. It's kind of basic. This actually, I, I have other type of workflows when it's more organic type of texturing, and uh, it's then it's a lot of pre bakes and stuff. Okay, that's it for today and this no graph tutorial. And as usual, if you want to support me, just hit the subscribe button and the bell notification because then you will not miss when I go live or do one of these tutorials and uh, remember to leave your comments in the section below because then I can get back to you if you have questions and stuff like that yeah thanks for this time and see you at the channel